I'm the proud director of programs and partnerships for Women's Voices Now. Um, it's been such a joy to be a part of this organization, and I'm really happy to be able to have steered this 10th annual uh, Women's Voices Now Film Festival. As you have heard and can now get a better sense of, we're all about promoting emerging filmmakers with an emphasis on women behind the camera who create social change films and media to advocate for women and girls' rights around the globe. As Heidi said, this year's theme, The Unintended Consequences of Our Progress, is really is reflected in the 41 films that we've selected and seen again today in the words of Adea, our keynote speaker, who's doing her own incredible work to redefine women's roles and shape women's stories in society. For so many women around the globe, being seen as a change agent is a really deeply restricted role. Each and every one of our filmmakers has, a part of our festival has proven the power of women to create meaningful and lasting change in their communities all around the globe. Uh, and as Heidi expressed, we are a very small but uh, organization, but one with a very outsized impact. And we're really grateful for this opportunity that we have to extend um, our reach and community of filmmakers uh, this year and continue to grow this network. Um, we encourage you all to continue to be a part of the work that we have in this organization. I know Becky will be sharing opportunities in the chat here throughout that, and we'll continue to uplift those opportunities online too for people to get involved. Um, in this 10th year of our festival, we reviewed 140 film submissions and welcomed 41 films into the festival from 25 countries around the globe. Um, we will hear from some of the people who were a part of that process, reviewing the films, uh, judging the films, and ultimately deciding on the eight prizes and $13,500 in cash prizes that we'll be awarding today to help further the careers and projects of these filmmakers. We're so proud to share that these winning filmmakers will also receive a year long membership to the International Documentary Association thanks to the generous support and sponsorship from IDA. Um, and just before the award ceremony officially begins, I just wanna extend thank yous one more time to everyone who made this festival possible. Um, first, our filmmakers, whose uh, bravery and courage in picking up a camera and pointing it in the direction of truth has inspired us all. Um, our jury members, this incredible group of women from around the world who volunteered their time to engaging uh, in film review, uh, but also discussion and thoughtful analysis to decide these winners. I wanna personally thank Sharafat, Cindy, Rosalind, Lena, Elizabeth, Yosa, Malika, Yara, and M Maya for their time. Uh, we also had an amazing a volunteer committee of um, people who reviewed first part of the process, this internal selection committee and our first round previewers. Uh, there were more than 30 of them, so we'd be spending a very long time, um, but they are on our website and we just appreciate all of your work. And we're happy to have Nicole here today with us to um, present an award. And finally, I wanna um, thank again, Bijan, our artists and residents who did an amazing job of curating these films um, so that we could have such a tremendous breath of content from around the globe to celebrate today. Um, and so I think with all of that background shared and said, um, it's time to get the, the fun started. Um, and we couldn't uh, be kicking off this awards presentation with a better first presenter. Um, our partners at the Lantos Foundation for Human Rights and Justice uh, really help tell the story of what we're trying to do in this festival so well, honor and uplift these stories of human rights told by women around the world um, and help shine a light on what is happening in corners of the world that don't get this focus often. So we are really incredibly grateful to have the president of the Lantos Foundation, Katrina Lantos Sweat here to present the award for best human rights documentary. Uh, and as Katrina's getting ready, I'll just share that the Lantos Foundation was established to help carry on Congressman Tom Lantos's proud legacy as a leading advocate for American engagement in human rights globally. They seek to advance human rights and justice by advocating for the United States and other democratic nations to prioritize these fundamental rights for all global citizens. Um, so again, Katrina, welcome. Uh, we're so grateful that you're here to announce our very first award. Well, I am thrilled and I am honored to be part of this fantastic um, award ceremony. I need to begin by congratulating Heidi for this really uplifting and inspiring initiative, the Women's Voices Now, and of course this uh, this documentary film competition, Chelsea, the whole team there at Women's Voices Now, you have really created something that is inspiring people, entertaining us, educating us, giving us a window into stories about women around the world that we otherwise would not know. And you should be very, very proud of the work you're doing. I also have to say a word about your fabulous, stunning, charismatic winner of the 
um, Women Making Waves um, Award this year, Adia Ahmed. I'm sure everybody who's been part of this conversation today was as moved as I was oh. by not only the story of what she has done with her life and the way she's been such a leader, but with the hopeful and compassionate and insightful and wise words that she shared. So uh, you, you are inspiring to all of us, and I feel honored to be part of this program today. So as was said, I'm Katrina Lantos-Sweat. I'm the president of the Lantos Foundation for Human Rights and Justice. We are so proud to partner with Women's Voices Now to present the award and prize money for the best human rights documentary. It was the mission of our founder, my late father, Congressman Tom Lantos, to carry the noble banner of human rights to every corner of the world. Through support for this online film festival and by lifting up these bravely told stories from around the globe, um, that's exactly what you are doing. And we are grateful for the opportunity to help in a small way to move this mission forward. The best human rights documentary is defined as an engaging, fact-based documentary film that both explores a human rights issue affecting women or girls and presents solutions, resources, or a call to action to address that issue. The Lantos Award for Best Human Rights Documentary and the 2000 Prize honors a film from any category that best illuminates a human rights champion or activist or examines a human rights issue. The winning film should be rooted in the recognition that the struggle for women's and girls' rights is inextricably linked to the fight for basic human rights for all people. Now, given the focus of Women's Voices Now Film Festival to uplift stories about issues facing women and girls around the globe, you can imagine that selecting one film was and is a real challenge. And I am very grateful for the work of the jury that was able to come to such an excellent decision. The award-winning film that we are very excited to give the prize to tells the story of Esti Shushan, who, despite a huge personal price, fights against her own beloved community to achieve rights for 600,000 Orthodox or Haredi women in her country. In Israel, ultra-Orthodox women have been forbidden to run for the Israeli parliament as people listed on their own party's parliamentary list. But as we see in this film, one woman's determination to change this injustice may be the catalyst to change this historic ban. Today, and I wish I had that envelope to rip open and that Oscar music coming in, but I want you all to imagine that as the, as the excitement and the tension builds. Today, I am so proud to announce the winner of the Lantos Award for Best Human Rights Documentary goes to Women of Valor by Anna Somershaf. Congratulations. והסביבה שלי זה נתפס כרצון לצאת נגד הדת. חשבו שבאמת השתגעתי. אבל אני לא יכולה לשתוק את... 